Now let me go to um, visitor accommodations, which um, the council president is trying to, to address. Um, our office, again, has not prosecuted a visitor accommodation uh, 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 case because we've never received one. And if you look at the term visitor accommodations, a lot of you, I probably have spoken with half of you because I know your frustration. I return the calls, but, and most of you say, well, it's visitor accommodations. That's what single, that's what um, short-term vacation rentals are. They are accommodation for visitors. Bring the signs up. Yeah, that's what you say. And I would bet you every one of you say that. Can we put the first, oh, the first slide is on. We have a little handout here. So I, I normally say, well, you gotta look at what the definition is of visitor accommodation. That's what judges do. And I've actually had very knowledgeable people tell me, judges don't look at that. I guess I wasted my time 10 years on the bench. I shouldn't have been looking at the law. But we do look at the law. If any of you have served on a jury, you get jury instructions. And you know, very specific facts you have to find. Each fact that you have to find is part of the law. They're called elements of the crime. And here we have a crime. Somebody's visitor accommodation. You just don't look at the title and say, yeah, that's short-term vacation rentals. Let's look at very carefully. So if your neighbor has a short-term vacation rental, many of you said, that's violating the law. Read that. Visitor accommodations bars re residential uses that provide lodging primarily to visitors and tourists. Ah, the word primarily means that sometimes they can actually provide the housing, the lodging, to visitors and tourists, and it wouldn't violate the visitor accommodation law. So investigators who are with a zoning enforcement officer, officer just doesn't look at the next door neighbor and say, ah, I got gotcha. you, there's one, you're gone. Here's, I'm gonna put handcuffs on you. They don't do actually do that. They can't because that's not what the law says. The investigator has to look at the history of the rental primarily probably means more than a half. Anybody think it means less than half? Probably more than half of the time. Over what period, ladies and gentlemen? Over a year? That means you have to go back to the rental history for a year? Over the time that they've owned the house? What about if I own a house for three years, two years I live there, and the third year I have financial problems, I go out and rent it out vacation rental. I've had it three years, I've lived in it for two. How are you going to define that? You tell me. I'll just tell the investor, go ahead, go, go out there and look at it. Get the rental history. And how are they going to get the rental history? That is, that is a problem. You take out the word primarily, it's broader, but it cleans it up. So no, short-term vacation rentals are not banned as a visitor accommodation. Only if the house is primarily used to rent to them. And Mo, by the way, it doesn't say anything about renting. It could be Aunt Emma coming from Kansas City to, it doesn't say you have to give anything, but let's call a rental. Then it has to be primarily lodging uh, for visitors and tourists. Visitors, okay, we would say people who don't live there, right? Visitors. So people who come from Claremont and want to have a party at the beach, are they visitors? Well, not to San Diego City, not to San Diego County. What about the fraternity parties, which I've heard about quite a bit, come, come from this, another part of the city and have their, their party at the beach? Primarily to visitors and tourists. So these, these zoning enforcement officers not only have to know the rental history, they have to know where these people came from, who they were, and what they were doing. That's a lot. That's staking out a house for a long time. If you want to have an army of zoning enforcement officers who are staking out and going in for search warrants, and trying to figure out rental history and all that, God bless you. Increase your taxes for that because you're talking about a complicated case. That's why it's vague. I love to enforce laws. That's what I do, but I'm not stupid. We have never lost a case on these, on these type of things as far as um, you know, the, the, the permissive zoning ordinance, for example. Because we're smart, we recognize these are criminal laws. Judges are gonna look very, very carefully at them.